New York City. They call it the concrete jungle. But how wild is it really? The answer might surprise you. New York is home to more than 600 different species. From the small and adorable to the dangerous and deadly. Join me as we take a look at the incredible species we saw this year. This is Wild New York. When you ask most people about the animals that call New York home, they might mention rats, squirrels, or maybe even a raccoon. But New York City has a shockingly diverse biome. From its famous parks, to its expansive seashores, its old growth forests, sandy dunes, and of course, its urban sprawl. This plethora of habitats hosts an array of animals, like the striped skunk, the height of mammal fashion. They've adapted well, living on the border of our urban landscapes. They share space and burrows with groundhogs, the lovable gardeners of our parks. But they're not the only ones trimming the verge. Eastern cottontails populate many of our parks, emerging in the early evenings to chow down. The nights are ruled by our wild canids, the eastern coyote. With stable populations, learning to live alongside them is a challenge New Yorkers must rise to meet. Living large is no challenge for one of our smallest mammals. The eastern chipmunk thrives amid our urban forests. As does our largest land mammal, the white-tailed deer. Thanks to spectacular efforts over the last 10 years, the New York Bite now sees regular visits from our largest animal, the humpback whale. Our harbors are now awash in wildlife, including several dolphin species and harbor seals. Clean water means many animals can thrive, including our state reptile, the common snapping turtle. Our largest native reptile, they emerge from our ponds each year in late spring and early summer and must survive the gauntlet of city life in order to lay their eggs. The city also hosts several amphibian species, like the northern dusky salamander and the American bullfrog. But they've got to be on their guard for predators along the water's edge, like the great blue heron. The black crowned night heron. And the green heron. None of these waiting birds will pass up a shot at an easy meal. Speaking of meals, a holiday favorite, the turkey, also calls the five boroughs home. Rafters can be spotted moving through our woodlands. But the trees also house danger. Birds of prey, like the red-tailed hawk, rule our city skies. Snacking on our rodents. And looking stylish. Some, like the cooper's hawk, prefer pigeons, while others, like the osprey, prefer fish. Our smallest falcon, the American kestrel, prefers it less windy, while the peregrine falcon prefers to be left alone. They have enough to do raising a family in the high-rises, and hoping they too will learn the ropes. In the city that never sleeps, our nocturnal birds are some of our most spectacular, like this Chuck Will's widow, Nightjar. 
And of course, everyone loves our owls, like the tiny northern sawwet and the eastern screech owl. These two pint-sized predators are often hunted by other owls, so they've got to be on the lookout for different species. Like the barred owl, who can endure pests and bad weather. One of our most striking owls, the great horned owl, also lurks in many of New York's parks, enduring its fair share of lousy conditions. But the rain and the snow of the Big Apple are a welcome respite for our largest owl. 2022 was a particularly eruptive year for snowy owls visiting from the Arctic, with several showing up across the five boroughs. What was your favorite animal that we saw this year? And what do you hope we'll spot next? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.